the Haven, the one and only, Marcy Zone, you already know. Shout out to Breaking Records Radio, man, for having me. Um, it's all love, bro. Hey, yo, hey, yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And you have to go to don't know. Master A. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Press five nine. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not actually too, um, like, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just, uh, like, that that as well, too, wanted me, to, like, um, it makes me wonder, like, because you've seen how Jay over the last few years has been kind of rekindling a lot of his beefs and stuff. But it makes me wonder, like, is that why you think maybe he's more hesitant with you? Because the fact is, it's not about what you know or how bad of a, or good of a look it is, but it's like your guy's bond is actually so deep that it's like, Wherever the miscommunication happened, wherever the cr- the hairs got crossed, it it it's something that almost hurts him too much. Like, do you think that's a reason why maybe this hasn't been able to be settled prior to now? You know what I mean? Because it it, it cuts a lot deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I couldn't believe it hurts him that much. Whatever the the separation of my that the end of the day, um, it's all about forgiveness. Yeah. Yo, no, we, I mean, don't blame, I mean, why blame the gang? The, the street shit is over. We're not the same people. So it's basically you're holding something else. You know what I'm saying? You're holding on to something else, some kind of hate, some kind of jealousy, some kind of what? I don't know what it can be that you can't put it past you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't know. Um, you know, uh, he could rectify all the, re- all the relationships, but this one, I don't know. Because maybe it's, it's only one. <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer that question for you. But What's crazy is nobody, do you understand? Nobody never asked him a question about me, though. Yeah. None of them, though. Like, really, none of them. Like, I don't care who does the interview. Every J, child, whoever's doing it, they're not asking them nothing about me. They ask him about the start of the Rockefeller, the start of this, but it won't go be beyond that. It won't be going beyond that. Like, what is it so hard about mentioning my name? They want you not to eat in all sorts of ways. You get what I'm saying? Like, they are not opening no doors. I don't know. For me. You know, I ain't saying I've been blackballed, but they ain't opening no, no doors, no areas where I can get in to that. And that's how I realized I'm not, I'm not going into that business with them. Yeah. It, it just astonishes me that when you can see everything that's going on in that shit, why would you still be wanting to get in that little small door in that industry? I'm not saying they're all bad people, but look what's going on in there. Well, and another oh, thing... Quit. Sorry, what were you saying? But, nah, nah, go ahead. I was just going to say another thing is too, right? Like, you know, you've always kind of been Jay's bigger brother, so as to where, like, you know, especially of recent, like, you know, he surrounded himself with a lot of people who uh, may have been, you know, a, a big part of his come up, like even prior to rap, like, you know, having dudes like Emery in the circle and stuff. But do you think that maybe um, as well, too, it's like, you know, he's got a lot of, like, a lot of these people are willing to be yes men because they know that the success and, you know, like they know life is good if they, if they're fucking with Jay and if, you know, they take this job title and stuff. As to where someone like you, you kind of played the big brother role, so it's hard for you to, like, just be like, oh, all right, like, you're big brother now, you know, I'm just cut the bullshit, I'm gonna just do what you say, I, I don't agree with this, but I'm gonna just roll with it, like, do you think that as well, too, kind of makes it, made it difficult in, you know, some of the early days, like, you kind of getting involved with the music thing, like? Um, like I said, though, you gotta understand this, <laughs> like, I'm gonna create my own lane, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, you get me a position. I'm saying, yo, you know what? And if this was early on in, in the rock, you, you get me a position and being like, yo, um, just make sure I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure you're all right. I mean, if, I don't see another position besides that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Coming up from where we coming up, that's still my same role. Yeah. 
You get what I'm saying? But don't get it fucked up. I'm going to open up other avenues and lanes for me. You know what I'm saying? And, and is that the threat? Is that what you're worried about? That I'm not going to need you? Because I'm not trying to no, I'll tell you what. Put them niggas back out on the street that's, that's running around with them right now and see if they can last. Yeah. That's why they have they don't care who no money for themselves, man. And this is where they have to be into that shit that they ain't doing. They have to keep up. They have to keep their mouth closed about certain things. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't create their own lanes. So with that question being said, like, nah, I couldn't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't never seen another a position beyond really. Yeah. Just hope making sure he good. You know what I mean? Other than that, I would open up the doors for myself somewhere else. I probably would have bought bought all of the music equipment and been the one that would do the sound. Like, yeah. I would have opened up my own permanent lane. <laughs> yeah, man. Word you know up. I've I never been one to travel with that, with them like that. Even during these shows, I show up on my own. On my own. I get there on my own. I never needed that, and I don't know if that was the jealousy of, around him. Like, yo, he, this guy, you know, he don't, I don't move like you. Just put my name at the door, I'll get there, I'll be there. I don't need to be in that circle, I don't need to. So I guess that's a threat to some people around him. Yeah. I, also, you know, 